Voice Meter is widely known as one of the best PC apps to use, but it's so confusing that people don't even bother using it. Today, I'm gonna make this app seem so easy, you won't even break a sweat. After installing Voice Meter, you will have three versions of the app installed. Voice Meter, which is the base version of the app with minimal tools. Voice Meter Banana, which is the most popular version of the app. And Voice Meter Potato, which is the granddaddy of all three and bigger than the rest. That's what she said. We will be using Voice Meter Banana in this video, but don't worry if you wanna use a different version of the app, it works the same way for all three, just with more or less virtual sources. We will also use the virtual audio cables, which is available for free on Voice Meter's website. It's very important that you listen to what I'm about to say. The first thing we're gonna do is set our default playback device on our computer. But before you do it, watch me do it, because you will lose audio from this video when you change the source. So you need to know what you're doing prior to switching the source over. First, let's set up our output device. On the top right of the app is the A1 source. This is where we can select our output device. I will select my headphones with the WDM source. Next, I want to make sure that virtual inputs here have the A1 source toggled on. Now let's change our playback devices. Right click the speaker icon on your desktop, select the sound settings, and then select the sound control panel. In the playback tab, we will right click the voice meter input source and make this our default device. After that, we will right click the voice meter aux input source and make this our default communications device. Once we've done this, our computer audio will be playing on the voice meter input source and our communication audio will be playing on the voice meter aux input source. This means you will need to set the audio settings in apps like Discord to default. At least that's the easiest way to do it. The reason for this is we're separating our computer audio from our communication audio. So that means apps like Discord or communication apps will play through the voice meter aux input. And that means other apps like video games will play through the voice meter input. To make things easier, let's change the labels of the inputs to desktop and communications by right clicking the titles to make sure we know what they are. Next, we can set up our microphone. Left click on the first hardware input and select your microphone source. You'll want to disable the A1 button on this input so you aren't listening to yourself on the A1 source that we selected earlier. For the microphone output, you have two options. You can select B1 or B2. B1 is the voice meter output, and B2 is the voice meter aux output. I like to use B2, so that's what I will select. In the sound control panel, I will go to the recording tab, locate the voice meter aux output source, and set this to the default device. If you're using the B1 source instead, be sure to select the voice meter output instead of the voice meter aux output. Now that we've set the default recording device on our computer, we can go into every single one of our apps audio settings and set the input device to default. This will default to using the correct voice meter source that we set up. This also means that all the sources on voice meter with B2 toggled will also play through your microphone. So make sure you only select B2 on inputs you want playing from your mic. You can adjust the mix of the output sources from the master section in the bottom right. Now we can take it even a step further and separate our music audio on voice meter as well. To do this, we'll need to install ear trumpet and the virtual audio cables that I mentioned earlier. On the second hardware input of voice meter, let's select the virtual audio cable. Let's then open Ear Trumpet from our hidden apps, find our music app, right click, click the arrows, and then select the virtual audio cable. If you don't see your music app on Ear Trumpet, that's because you need to be playing audio from the app in order for Ear Trumpet to recognize it. SteelSeries made an app like Voice Meter that's way easier to set up. Check it out here, you won't regret it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.